we're going to install the new Unroute 5.1 version. And in our case, I've downloaded it. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And here I see the Unroute in installer. If you received a CD, you would insert the CD into the CD drive of your computer. I'm just going to uh, also take a look at the C drive here. And I do have a few copies of Enroute installed, but I do not have an Enroute 5 underscore 1 folder. And that's the name of the folder that we're going to be installing into automatically or by default. I'll now double click the Enroute 5.1 5, 5 underscore 1 installer. And we're going to be in, begin the installation process. It's going to ask me my language, and I'm going to check English. And I'm just going to go through the process here. Now, the destination folder by default is in route 5 underscore 1. I'm going to put this in route 5 underscore 1 directory if I want it in a slightly different folder than my previous one. If I have in route installed already, I don't need to install the driver now. If I'm installing for the first time, I would go ahead and install the driver. And uh, we're going to go ahead and install the password now. Hit install. I'm not going to work in millimeters. I'm just going through and extracting and installing all the programs, program files. Now here's where I'm going to enter my password information. Now here's where you would enter the password that was was provided with your key number. And once all the characters are in there, you would hit OK, and it will tell you which version of Enroute you've installed. I'm going to hit No for now, but just going through what that process would be. Okay, so I now have Enroute installed. Now I have gone ahead and installed my route and route password. So now I have the ability to start Enroute software. And I can go here to the Enroute 5.1 folder and double click this file. Or if I have Windows 8 or Windows 7, you can go to the Start menu. In the case of Windows 8, you can press the Start key on your keyboard and then select Enroute from the keyboard buttons that are available. So now I'm starting in route 5.1.0.20. All right, now the best thing to do or the easiest way to bring over files from your old in route is to start a new file. Hit OK here. I'm just starting a new file to create some in route folders. Now I'm going to come to the help menu and go to restore settings from a previous version. I have a few previous versions of in route here, so I'm going to go to this version, hit OK. Tells me it's going to overwrite my current settings and restart in route, which I want it to do. It would be necessary to do that to be able to get in route to see all these files and to, to make the changes permanent that, that I'm doing by opening up this installer. So now in route's going to be closed automatically. And it's going to restart. And now uh, I will have brought all my files over. This includes the Enroute preferences. It includes the Enroute tool library. It includes the Enroute driver setup. So all the drivers here that have been previously worked on and, and their tool positions would be included. Any uh, drill bank information, existing strategies. So if I come here and create a, a part and go to the routing offset menu, any previously existing strategies will be saved. The only two things that aren't saved are any of the shape wizard parameters and any of the textures that are part of the uh, Enroute Pro capability and route textures. And you can uh, manually go here and then to your Enroute folder. And uh, in your previous version, you would have textures. So you would want to come here and copy all of your XML files. And you also have shape wizard shapes. So if you come here to Shape Wizard, you see XML files. That would include any saved parameters for those two. You would want to close in route and then copy them to the new in route folder. But aside from that, all my previous settings will be brought over and I'm ready to get going with in route 5.1.